Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh brings you fresh ingredients and great recipes right to your doorstep so you can prepare a meal in about 30 minutes. HelloFresh has so many great recipes to choose from. It's a great way to break out of recipe ruts and making food for yourself or for your family, for your loved ones should be celebrated and HelloFresh can help you with their 50 weekly menus and market items. HelloFresh also offers quick and easy recipes that include 20 minute meals, low prep and easy cleanup. So HelloFresh can also help with special meals with Valentine's Day just around the corner. You can use HelloFresh to make a three course meal, including a little starter, a couple sides, and a dessert. You can also make eating well easier with HelloFresh with their family friendly, fit and wholesome, vegetarian and pescatarian options. And this week, my family's favorite was the one pan trattoria tortelloni bake. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or go to HelloFresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE16 to receive up to 16 free meals and three special gifts. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today, I am going to be tasting a military ration. Now, if you haven't seen my military ration playlist, I will put the link down below. I have tasted dozens at this point, but it's been quite a while since I tasted my last one. I think the last one I tasted was the French ration and it was comprehensive to be sure. One of the more tasty ones, but today I'm going to be tasting this ration. It is so heavy and this ration comes from Bello Bruce. So this ration along with this ration were so very kindly sent to me by lovely Timofe all the way from Belarus and I cannot wait to taste these. I'm not going to taste both of these. After using a translation app, I found out that one of these is vegetarian and one is not. I'm going to be tasting the not vegetarian one and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see the vegetarian option and we shall see what is inside that one. This is a 24 hour ration pack. So enough food to feed a soldier for 24 hours. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. And I've got the Google Translate app, which shall help me translate the labels on here. Very handy app because you can translate live. There are three finger holes here to hold this and it is incredibly heavy. I'm just out of curiosity. Let's see how much it weighs. 2,341 grams. So almost two and a half kilos or about five pounds. Hefty! Open it up. Oh boy, look at this. So, comes with some napkins. This looks like an instant soup. Main course item. Another one as well. We have some fuel. Pate, meat spread, some other kind of meat. Mashed potato maybe? Maybe a muesli or kind of oatmeal porridge for breakfast. These look like they might be some sort of hydration drink. Plum or fig bar. Peanuts. Waterproof matches. It's like another spread of some kind. Wow, another main course. Apple jam or butter. Crackers. Hot beverage of some kind. Three plastic spoons. Pudding. Some kind of powder. Couple packets of tea. Instant coffee wet naps, packets of sugar, chocolates, water purification, salt and pepper. I'm not sure what this is. Alrighty, my lovelies, I have separated all of this food into three general meals and we're gonna go ahead and taste them. So this ration comes with a heater. So let's go ahead and assemble that. There are the fuel tablets and the heater inside. Bend these downward and these go up. Pretty ingenious. We're gonna place the fuel tab right there. These come wrapped so no moisture gets in there. Look how fat they are. Plenty of fuel to light your fire, especially if there's some wind. And I believe this is the striker. Beautifully. Look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna place that right on there. <laughs> These matches are brilliant. There's 
absolutely enough fuel there to get the fuel tub lit. Brilliant. I've tried lighting these with just regular matches and the head just kind of isn't enough to get it going. But look at that. It's done. Beautiful. I'm going to use a wet nap to first clean up. You know, standard issue, very thin wet nap. It smells lemony. Beef and green peas. You can see bits of fat. Definitely see the peas and some carrots in there as well. Place that right on top of our fuel. So while that's heating, let's go ahead and prepare the rest of our meal. Kind of an oatmeal porridge. It smells like raspberry. Then I'm gonna add some boiling water to that. Set that aside and let that kind of further hydrate. After using the translating app, I found out this is a vitamin. And indeed, it's a multivitamin. It has that really strong smell of B vitamins. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm not gonna have that, but that's great that they include it. Looks like to be a pate. Yep. And indeed, very smooth meat. And we've got our hot water, black tea, condensed milk. A little bit of that, bubbling very nicely. Chocolate pudding. Ooh, that might actually be good in my port. So first, let's try the raspberry oatmeal. Nice and thick. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. Thick and creamy, has the same consistency and flavor of regular oatmeal. I really appreciate though that it's not overly sweet. Just a tiny hint of sweetness. It's more perfumed with raspberry flavor and scent. We can of course add some condensed milk to this if we like it sweeter. I think this pudding might actually go really well with the oatmeal. Let's try that together. Mmm, mmm. Wow, that's not pudding. That's like chocolate icing. Look at that. The translating app couldn't translate this because it had kind of a italic font to it. It actually goes really well with the oatmeal. A little of this goes a long way. I think it would go well with the biscuit to be a little bit of a dessert too. Okay, let's wash down that sweetness with some tea. Mmm, <laughs> I love black tea. That is no frills, just simple black tea. Very basic, but comforting. I'm gonna take this off the fire. Look how hearty that is. By the smells and looks of it, it reminds me of my Polish ration that I tasted. I'll put a link down below to all of my ration tastings, but the Polish one also had tins as well. Okay, let's give that a taste. Mmm. <laughs> So the crackers are quite hard and substantial in texture, but they need to be from a practical standpoint. They need to survive all that jostling out in the field, but they taste like just like a plain cracker. The stew, on the other hand, is quite tasty and hearty. Has a slight tang to it, really beefy, very tender, and not too salty. And the peas taste just like canned peas. Canned peas, carrots, and beef. And spread it right on the cracker. Mmm, I like that. It's got kind of a livery flavor to it, but very, very smooth consistency. A little bit of nutmeg, I think, might be in there. Or maybe that's a little bit of mace, a little tiny bit of spice. Really love that smooth texture. Okay, so now we're back with lunch. Instant pea soup. Add our boiling water. It's like a yellow split pea rather than the green split pea that we are accustomed to seeing here stateside. Another beef, beef stew. Mm. <laughs> Has a good layer of fat on it. Ooh, so this looks almost more like a corned beef. And this is a can of beans. So I need my spoon to eat my beans, so let's go ahead and try the soup. Here we go. Mm. Very, very salty. I think I need to add a lot more water to that. It tastes of chicken bouillon and lots of dill in there. Look a little bit like kidney beans. Mmm, they taste like canned beans. Mmm, mmm, -hmm -hmm. They're salted and lightly seasoned and they have a bit of a richness to them, kind of an oily mouthfeel to them. And it's kind of like a combination between canned beans and refried beans. Some of the beans are mashed, so you get 
this kind of homogenous texture while still being able to bite through the whole bean. Not half bad. So I've warmed up the beef stew and the gelatin has melted. That's gonna be rich. Here we go. Mmm, mm-hmm. Beautifully tender beef, super rich, really unctuous mouthfeel. You've got some connective tissue in there. I know that sounds terrible, but it's not. It is so great. Very, very hearty. In terms of texture and great beefy flavor, it reminds me of well-cooked beef shanks. Mmm, delicious. Plums, damson plums, I believe. That's hearty right there. And my coffee and my hot water. That smell always reminds me of camping. I like my coffee black. I'm gonna stir it to make sure everything is dissolved. Cheers. Oh yeah, tastes a little bit burnt, but it's like truck stop coffee. It's comforting and hot and just wonderful in its own right. It's great. Hmm. It tastes a little bit like a fruit roll up, but it has a much more substantial bite to it. It's much thicker, of course, but then interdispersed among all the dried fruit paste. There are little bits of nut in there. So it gives you a little bit of texture, which is really nice to have that variety. Alrighty, my lovelies, we are back with the last meal of the 24 hour ration pack from Belarus, mashed potato. And this I think will go really well with the entree. Instant mashed potatoes, ingenious. Processed cheese, a porridge. We have what looks to be barley and beef together and another hearty stew. This is a hot milk beverage. Hot milk drink. And then I also have an electrolyte drink. Pour that into a glass. I have a suspicion that I need a lot more water than this, but let's go ahead and give this a taste. Here we go, cheers. It's actually not bad. It is definitely not dissolved, so I think we certainly need more water, but it's got that familiar viscosity of a electrolyte drink. And in terms of flavor, it's not what I thought would be lemon limey. It tastes a little bit more like melon to me. Hmm. And surprisingly not overly sweet, even though I put very little water relative to the rest of this. Although this is not dissolved. This would probably be more like a half liter of water. Here is the entree heated up. Hmm. I like the texture of the barley grains. They're a bit bouncy and have a little bit of a chew to them and they've absorbed all that meaty flavor to them. This particular dish does not have big chunks of meat like the others but the meat has lended its meaty flavors and fat to the barley, which have plumped up nicely. Kind of reminds me a little bit of hominy in texture, but smaller. Let's try it with a cracker. Mmm, I like it with a cracker. I like having that kind of contrast of textures. Now, along with that, let's taste our mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm, mmm. Bouillon flavor, a little bit of celery, I think some dill in there, and a buttery flavor and some dehydrated mushrooms in there as well. Mm -hmm. That very soft mashed potato texture. Very, very, very familiar, warm and comforting. Oh yeah, apple jam. This was also included in my Russian ration that I tasted a while back. And I thought this was some sort of drink beverage and I added hot water to it and actually made a delicious hot drink. So highly recommend taking apple jam and mixing it with hot water. But today I'm gonna to be having it as jam on a cracker. <laughs> Squeeze a little bit onto there. Oh. Hmm has an apple juicy flavor and a pleasant kind of jelly texture on a very hard, crunchy cracker. <laughs> Let's wash that down with our hot milk beverage. Oh, I ex was expecting that to be sweet, but it's not. This is just hot milk. <laughs> I think this would have been actually really nice with my oatmeal. Spread that on the cracker. Mm. <laughs> That reminds me of handy snacks, you know, those little snacks that you would get as a kid with the crackers and the little red stick and the little thing of processed cheese spread. It tastes just like that, except the crackers are much harder and not really buttery, more kind of saltine-ish. 
Mm, this one's not my favorite. <laughs> and for our last two items, we have this and this, peanuts and chocolate. What a great little dessert. Dry roasted peanuts. And here, oh, what I thought was a chocolate isn't chocolate at all. It's a little piece of gum. Let's try our peanuts next. Here we go. Mm, mm -hmm. They have a nice natural sweetness to them, but peanuts, one of my favorite little snacks. Mm -hmm. Let's finish that off with a little dental care, some chewing gum. Mm, I'm not sure, but in a lot of these ration packs, they include xylitol gum which is actually really good for gum and tooth health. I would guess that this is a xylitol gum, very pepperminty, really great for freshening your breath. And this ration included three of them, so you could have one after each meal. A great way to polish off a very, very hearty and comprehensive meal. All right, my lovelies, that was a lot of food. That was the 24-hour ration pack from the Armed Forces of Belarus. Big thanks again to Timofey for sending this to me and make sure to chime in in the comments below if you want to see the vegetarian version as well. And thanks so much for watching and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or head over to hellofresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE16 to receive up to 16 free meals and three special gifts. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>